What is happening? It is Allison, your group leader, popping into the group. I feel like I haven't I feel like I haven't gone live in here in forever, so it is great to be in here. Um, pardon the like weird orange glow that I've got going on. I did not bother setting up any lighting or anything like that, and I'm sitting in front of the window and the sun is kind of setting, and so it's it's giving me this delightful, angelic orange glow. So um yes. Um, but I wanted to stop into the group because I wanted to talk about something that I think is really, 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 really important that I feel like a lot of people tend to brush over or ignore or just not really pay attention to. And some people might think it's corny or cheesy or not important, whatever you, you may have feelings about, but, um, that is ha the importance of having an entrepreneurial mindset. So that's kind of, I just want to pop in and explain why it's so important and some tips on how you can get it. Um, I get really frustrated when I see people, um, online entrepreneurs specifically since I'm on Facebook and I see ads a lot, but it really frustrates me when I see people who make it look really easy and they post, you know, photos of themselves, you know, on the beach with their drink and they're like, yeah, just set up this like one funnel and spend like a couple hours creating a product and bam, you're going to be like making all this money. And they make it seem so easy and glamorous. In reality, what they're not sharing is that they probably have this nice long story that they had to go through before that reached that point. So I'm sure there are people on the beach enjoying their drinks and working couple hours a week, if at all. But um, the point being that they went through a long journey to get to that point. It's not easy. Um, being an entrepreneur is probably one of the hardest things that you can do. It just is. Like, it's not easy and it's not for the faint of heart. So that is why um, having that entrepreneurial mindset is so important. It really is the difference between... The mindset is the difference between the people who give up or fail to really try and the people who show up every day and succeed. Um, for example, two people, let's say, let's say two people enroll in my course. Um, I've got several courses. Let's say two people buy one of my courses. Um, and let's say that one of those people does awesome and they get like really good results and they see tons of growth and they really make stuff happen. Whereas the other person who, sh who did the, who purchased the exact same course, does not get the same results. They kind of pitter patter around. They don't really, really put in their best effort. Um, they're not going to get the same results. So you can, you can read blog posts, you can join courses and take courses, but ultimately what's going to carry you through so that you can make your big, awesome goals happen, which is what I want you to have. You have got to have that mindset. Um, okay, so let me just give a few examples of why the mindset's important for those of you who are like, meh, whatever, um, in case you're like skeptical or think it's cheesy, let me just give you some examples of why it's so important. Number one, your mindset is what is going to allow you to conquer fear and stop all that worrying. So fear is like one of the biggest things that keeps people from either starting or really going after what they want because they're afraid of who knows what. There's like a million things to be afraid of. Um, so having that mindset is going to allow you to conquer that fear and, and that worry. And we're going to go over how here in a minute. Um, but the mindset's important for that. It's also important for stepping out of your comfort zone. If you don't have the right mindset, you're going to have a really hard time stepping out of your comfort zone. And most of that significant growth that you need in order to hit your goals is going to happen outside of your comfort zone. So it's really, really important. Um, it's also going to allow you to take risks. So a big part of being an entrepreneur, whether that's an online business or a business that you have, like a brick and mortar store, or maybe whatever, whatever it is that you're dreaming about, um, you have to take risks and that requires a certain mindset. Um, it also requires showing up every single day and taking action. And when, when shiz hits the fan, when it gets when it gets hard and you're not feeling motivated or whatever, you have to have that mindset to keep going. Um, there are a million reasons why you might want to quit at any given point. And if you don't have that mindset, you probably will. Um, as an example, I have been working for myself full time for 
oh, how long now? I'm like losing track of time. Almost eight years, so a long time. And guess what? There have been a million days over that time period that I have wanted to quit for whatever reason. You know, uh, maybe some days I'm feeling scared or maybe some days I'm like crapping my pants or self-doubting myself, like, like you know, experiencing all that nasty self-doubt. Or maybe I'm like, eh, I don't think this is working. Or maybe I'm feeling overwhelmed and I'm like, I just want to have a job where I can clock in and clock out and not worry about it. Um, so there have been a million reasons over the last seven years that I have wanted to quit um, because it gets hard mentally. <laughs> um, but I haven't. And the reason why I haven't is because I have developed that mindset that allows me to keep going. It is so important. You have got to have it. One more example. Um, a year and a half ago, I went through this really bad bout of depression. It was like horrible. Um, it lasted for several months. I could barely get out of bed. And I wrote about it on my blog post, or on my blog. Um, but it was a really rough time. I was really depressed. And I wanted to quit so bad. Like, I did not want to keep going. But ultimately, once again, the little thing that kept me going through that rough period was ultimately my mindset. <laughs> okay, so I just want to like show you why mindset is important. It is what separates the people who succeed from the people who don't really don't really end up getting anywhere or don't don't try. So, um, okay, so let's talk about how you can develop the mindset. Um, since you know it's important, you gotta have it. Um, number one is you need to conquer your fear. Fear is, okay, let's just bear with me. I know that sounds like, it's easy for you to say, conquer your fear. Um, but let me just show you how I do it. So yes, as we've discussed, there are a million reasons to be scared. Your imagination will come up with anything and everything to protect you because it's just trying to like protect you. So it'll come up with all sorts of reasons why you should be scared crapless. Um, you know, maybe you're afraid of failing or you're not afraid, you're afraid of ma not making enough money or you're afraid that people won't like you or whatever. Um, there's a million reasons. So what I like to do, you have got to learn to conquer fear. That's like step number one, absolutely crucial. You're not going to get anywhere if you let fear hold you back. So when I am feeling scared and I do this with anything in life, um, if it's business related or not, but if I'm feeling particularly fearful of something, I will think of the worst case scenario that is related to that particular fear, like the worst case scenario, something that is probably not going to happen at all. Um, but I will think of it, I will write it down, and then I will brainstorm a, what I will do if that happens. So I'll think of the worst case scenario for that particular fear, and I will write down a little plan for what I will do if that happens. And that alleviates so much fear instantly because... I already thought about the worst case scenario and now I have a plan for it. And the likelihood that that thing is gonna even happen is like tiny. So I really, really, really recommend anytime you're feeling scared or fearful, write it down, think of what you will do if that happens and then let it go. Put it in like a jar or a box or in your drawer or in the trash, I don't care, burn it. Um, but do something with it, get it onto paper come up with a plan of how you will deal with the worst case scenario and then move on. Like you cannot let it hold you back. Um, another tip is to, um, oh yeah, train yourself to stop worrying. So you got worrying. I don't remember. There's like a quote, but it's like worrying is a huge waste of your imagination. I mean, <laughs> you can spend all day worrying about every little thing that could go wrong. And in the end, it is a huge waste of your creative space. I mean, you have got to reserve your energy for like thinking of things that are actually important. So, um, so, and it's easier said than done. Like a lot of people aren't, some people are born with like kind of that natural entrepreneurial mindset and other people are not. So whether you are, or you aren't, you have to train yourself to develop it. It's going to be essential. So anytime you worry, Try to turn that around into, try to nix it, like acknowledge when you're worrying about something to be like, okay, I'm worried about it. Okay. Then let it go. Like just acknowledge it really quickly, let it go. And then try to think of something positive instead. So I will catch myself worrying probably several times a day and I'll be like, oh wait, hold on. I'll, okay. I'm, I'm worried about something. Yes. Okay. What is it that I'm worried about? Okay. I'm going to let it go. And then I, I 
force myself to think of something positive. I will, I'll force myself to sit there for a second and visualize me doing something awesome, me succeeding in some way. Um, I know this might sound corny, but trust me, it is important. You can waste so much of your time and mind space worrying. Okay, so just acknowledge that you're worrying, let it go, and then force yourself to think one positive thing before you move on about yourself. Um, okay, what's another thing? Um, oh yes, step three to working on developing your crucial entrepreneurial mindset is you have got to see failure as not an option. Like it's just not an option. Um, one of the reasons why, so in case you don't know, before I started Wonderlast, which is my online business, hey Karina, hey! Um, really quickly, when I worry or concerned, then I write down and realize it's really not a big deal. Yes, exactly. Um, that's exactly what I do. It helps so much to write it down and then just let it go and think of something positive. Um, but the third thing I was about to say is that you've got to learn to see failure as not an option. Um, like for, so seven years ago, eight years ago at this point, um, before I had my online business, before I was doing all of this stuff, I actually had a wedding photography business that I started and I went into that head on full time right from the get go. Um, and one of the biggest reasons why I had a fire under my butt was because I did not see failure as an option. I was like, I'm going to make this work. Failure is not an option. I'm going to do this until I'm getting, I, I'm gonna figure it out until it works. So you just have to get the mindset that failure is not an option, which leads me to my next tip, a thing that you need to shift in your mind is that you have got to view mistakes, mistakes, and what you might consider failures as learning experiences. You cannot just sit around and be like, oh, I failed, guess what? You are going to be making a ton of mistakes. You are going to not be great at everything when you first try something. So you can't get down on yourself for failing or making mistakes. You have got to learn to see them as opportunities to learn and to grow and to get better. So there really is nothing to worry about when it comes to failures, right? Because you're only going to be learning and improving from that. Um, let me throw out an example. I have two really good examples. I have a million examples probably, um, cause I've made a lot of mistakes <laughs> over the years, but just like a couple. So like last year, it was actually less than a year ago. It was last April. I launched my first ever online course ever. And, um, I was really excited and I created, so this was less than a year ago, which is crazy. It feels like forever ago, but, um, I launched my first paid course and at the time I had like mm, like 8,000 around I think on my email list and I didn't really do anything to launch it strategically because I didn't know what I was doing so I essentially just created the course and then I emailed my, I, when it was done I sent my entire list one broadcast and I'm like hey guys I created this awesome thing, it's my new course, go check it out, here's the link to the sales page and I made one sale. like. I was really disappointed and for a day I thought I, I felt like a complete failure. I was like, okay, only one person bought my course and I'm seeing all these people who have these like six figure launches, five figure launches and I made one sale. I must be horrible. Maybe courses aren't my thing. Maybe I just should just like try something else. And for that 24 hour period, I really wanted to give up. But then after I allowed myself to like throw myself a pity party for like 24 hours, <laughs> throw yourself a pity party, but no longer than 24 hours. Um, after I threw myself that little like pity party, I then got up and I'm like, okay, like how can I learn from this? Yes, I technically only had one person during my launch, but the truth is I didn't even do anything to launch. I did nothing. So I learned so much from that. I did not give up. I created another course and then I made another one and then I got better with my launches and more strategic and now my income is like 85% from my online courses and that was 10 months ago. So I could have easily quit and seen that as like a failure and a sign that I should stop but instead I saw it as a learning opportunity or like 
the first time I created a sales funnel, for example, um, it didn't work. Like it wasn't getting me any clients. And so I tweaked it and it still didn't work. And then I tweaked it again and it still didn't work. So yes, I could have been like, well, I guess I'm not supposed to do sales funnels or I, I guess I suck or oh, I just, maybe I just failed. No, I kept learning from my previous thing that wasn't working and I kept tweaking it until it worked. And guess what? Now I have multiple funnels and they are all working to make me passive income every single day. But it did not start out that way. I had to tweak it like probably eight times before it started working. So you have got to learn to view your mistakes and your failures as learning experiences to get better. It's going to be crucial in the weeks and months and years to keep going. Um, another thing you've got to got to learn if you want to like get success, whatever that means to you, is that you have to accept that not everyone's going to like you. Like that's just how it is, and you just have to not care. Um, you can be yourself. People are not always going to like you. You can try to please everybody and there's still going to be people who don't like you. So you might as well be yourself because either way, there's going to be people who don't like you. You can be the most awesome, caring, giving, sweet person ever and there's still going to be people who don't like you. Um, plus, if you're not being yourself, you're not going to be attracting the right people in your life, in your business. So it's vitally important to be yourself because no matter how you act, there's always going to be people who don't like you. You cannot let your fear of people not liking you or caring what other people think stand in your way. You just can't. You have to learn just to be like, you know what? I'm going to do me. I'm going to go after what I want and I don't care what other people think. Um, for me, that's always come easily. I had a mom who raised me in a way that she was very like fun and theatrical and she always made me comfortable with who I was. Um, and so I've always been comfortable being myself, but I know that doesn't come naturally to everyone, but you've got to learn to not, you've just got to learn to get over it. No, not everyone is going to like you. Um, I've had, you might have seen before. I have gotten hate mail from subscribers before saying, you know, that they hate me using the word buttercup and could they please like, you know, like I've gotten mean messages and I was like, oh, I was just trying to send you something helpful. Okay. Um, so it doesn't matter. There's always going to be people who don't like you. Just accept it and move on. Hey, Michelle. So true. A hard pill to swallow, but so important. Yeah. So no matter how you act, people are, people, there's going to be people who don't like you. That's okay. Be yourself. Um, the next thing that you need to do is that you need to surround yourself with like-minded people, which that's the point of this group. Um, that's why it's so important. If you surround yourself entrepreneurial ship, whatever it's called, um, it's hard. So don't be fooled into thinking it's easy. If you are trying to start like an online business because you think it's going to be so easy, I'm telling you it's probably one of the hardest choices that you could choose. It's one of the most rewarding choices, I think. Um, but it's going to require a lot of hard work from you and the ability to keep going. So surrounding yourself who get you is really important. If you just have like families or friends and they don't really understand or they don't really believe in you or support you, whatever. Um, that's really going to, it's going to be hard for you. It's going to be really isolating. So that's why I created this group. That's why all of you awesome people are in it so that we can support each other. You've got to support yourself, support yourself with people who are around you. I don't remember. There's like a quote or something or like a statistic statistic. I can't um, talk today, but it's something like you are the result of the people you hang out with. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's literally a quote that you are directly influenced by the people you hang out with the most. So surround yourself with people who are ambitious, for people who go after what they want, who get you, who at least support you. It's super, super, super important. Um, and lastly, another tip that I want to go over for mindset is I highly encourage a morning ritual. So I've always kind of had a morning ritual where I get up, I have my coffee, and I spend a little bit of time reading, but I recently changed it to make it um, more, a little more productive for my mindset. So it really is true. Like if you have a shitty start to your morning, um, you're going to have a shitty, pardon my S word, but you're going to have a shitty day. Um, if you start the day feeling scared or doubtful or dreading, or whatever negative feeling here, 
Um, it's going to impact your entire day, your, all your, you know, your decisions, what you do. But when you start your day feeling like, yeah, I'm excited and I'm confident, I'm going to do this and uh, it really makes a big difference. Um, hey, Becca, you become like the five people you spend the most time with. Yes, that is the quote I was trying to think of. Thank you. You become like the five people you spend the most time with. So choose who you spend your time with wisely. Um, but going back to morning rituals, so I've been doing this thing, um, I, I read the book, The Miracle Morning for Entrepreneurs by Hal, Hal Elrod. Um, if you have not read it, I encourage all of you to read it. It is amazing. It is so good. You can literally go on Amazon and get it as a digital download for $9.97 and it is worth every penny. Um, it goes into how to develop your mindset, but it goes into how you can actually start your morning being focused, being confident and going after your goals with purpose. And so one of the things that I took away from that book that I'm now doing every morning to help, you know, make my day be like kick ass is I got the, and I'm not a journal person at all. Like I never journal, but I have started and it's been going great. Um, it's the five minute journal. I don't know if any of you journal, let me know, curious. Um, but it's called the five minute journal. You can get it online. I got mine at paper source and it's awesome. It takes five minutes or less a day, but it basically gets you thinking on a positive note. So you, you do it first thing in the morning so that you're starting your day on a positive note. You're starting your mind in the right place so that you can do what you need to do to reach the goals that you want to reach. So I highly recommend you checking it out because it's awesome. I think it was like $25 or something, but so worth it. I've seen like, it just like, I just feel better. Um, and it helps with one of the things we talked about, which is turning your worries and negative thoughts into positive ones, ones that are going to inspire confidence in yourself. So it's really good. And it's cool because there's a little spot at the bottom where you can list, um, at the end of the journal for each for each day, there's like a little section before you go to bed and it says, how could I have made today better? And then you can list, like think about it for just a second, like, okay, what could I have done that would have made today better? Whether it's personal or business related, but you write it down and it's neat because you can go back and look at that and use that to make your future days better. <laughs> I get so excited over this type of thing, like super excited. So. I'm really, really pumped about the, the book. You should for sure check it out if you want to like, if you want to like make big things happen this year, for sure check it out. I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how important having this mindset is um, because you got to have it when things get rough. It's not going to be easy and there are going to be a lot of reasons why you're going to want to quit for whatever various points. And the mindset is what is going to carry you through those and make you go after your dreams relentlessly. Um, I truly believe that if you want something, you can get it. If you really, if you, you can get it if you really want, I'm sorry, um, but you can. Um, but you know, having the tools and the knowledge is important. You do need like the tools and the knowledge, but you also need the mindset because that is at the base of it all. I don't know why I'm singing now. Um, hey, Cricket. Yeah, you journal every day. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I, I recommend it. If you are not a journaling person like I'm not, then check out the five-minute journal. It's really good, and it really does help you get into that right mindset for your day so you can have a successful day. I've honestly felt so much better since I started doing it. Um, and one little tip that I will just mentioned briefly to help mindset is, um, exercise. So it exercising and being active, um, is scientifically, scientifically, scientifically proven to help boost your mindset. And that's going to influence positively again, um, everything that you do. So I'm not talking about going crazy and spending hours at the gym, whatever you are capable of, even if it's only like five minutes worth of jumping jacks, or if you are in a wheelchair punching the air for five minutes, you know, something to get your blood flowing. Um, I've been doing that every day, first thing in the morning for like, if I don't have time, I'll just do like five minutes. It makes a huge impact on how I feel 
throughout the day, I feel more energized, I feel more focused, I feel more excited, and it helps me get into the zone. So highly recommend that as well. Um, <laughs> you are welcome, Michelle. Um, but yeah, um, so those are my mindset tips. If you came in late, I recommend, I will get off here in just a second. I recommend going back. It, it's, have I said it's important yet? Because it really is. It is so important. So, 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 so important. Um, you have to have it. Um, okay. Oh, yes. And there is a link above this video. It's actually just the link to my main website, wonderless.com. Um, but I just put up a new course. Um, so if you want it, click the link. You can get it. I feel like I want to start singing again. Um, but it's really great if it's, I be, yeah, it's the ultimate toolbox. So we go over like mindset stuff. We go over tools and resources that will help you with your business. We go over like some of the biggest mistakes that people make that I myself included made, um, and how you can avoid those. So it's like a good, good toolbox of things that you want. Um, if you're trying to grow any type of like business or, um, blog. Um, so yeah, get that above. Um, didn't you just run a marathon? I did actually, that was from, that was from a couple months ago, that marathon photo. Um, so <laughs> yes, that was a couple months ago that I ran that marathon. Um, but I am still running. Um, but yeah, that actual photo was from a few months ago. And guess what got me through that full marathon? My mindset, uh, because you bet your butt I wanted to quit halfway through. I felt like I was going to die. Um, and I wasn't like super properly trained and it was one of the hardest courses in the U S super hilly and I thought I was going to die. But the one thing that kept my legs, which felt like they were exploding from stopping was my mindset. I was determined to make it. And that is what you need as an entrepreneur. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. There are going to be a lot of obstacles that you're probably going to have to cross. You're going to have to step out of your comfort zone, beat fear to the ground. All right, and with that being said, I'm gonna let you get back to your, what is today, Wednesday? I'm gonna get, let you back to your Wednesday and watch the tips. Um, let me know if you have any favorite things that you do to help kind of give you a boost in the old, in the old noggin. I always love to know what other people do, um, but those are just some of the things that I do and I think that they are really, really, really important, okay? Okay, well, yay, I love that little thumbs up. So cute. Okay, well, I will see you. I'm planning another live thing for next week. Um, I was doing really good with these live things for a while. I was coming in every week, and then I feel like I didn't, you know, Christmas, like, kind of just, like, <laughs> blame it all on Christmas. I felt like I, like, kind of dropped the ball around Christmas, and then I just haven't gotten back on the ball. So planning on coming back in next week with another live video with more tips that you might find helpful. So, of course, if there's something that you would like to talk about or hear about or whatever, just let me know below. I will be planning that out um, tomorrow. So you are welcome, Michelle. Glad you could come by. But work on that mindset, you guys. Super important. We've got to support each other through this crazy journey. All right. And with that, I am off. Okay, bye. <laughs>